Adeshina Korki here at Big East Men's Basketball Media Day at Chelsea Piers in New York City. And I'm joined by St. John's guard D'Angelo Harrison. And D'Angelo, leading scorer last year for the Johnnies. You're starting a new season. Uh, hope springs eternal. Is that so? Yeah, you know, definitely. You know, we have a great, we have a great team this year. Um, you know, we feel like we have a lot to prove. You know, our depth and our, you know, our system. You know, we feel like we can compete with you know, any team in the country. You were a very young team last year, but still made it to the NIT, made it to the second round of the NIT. Uh, what's the biggest improvement that you see during the fall from your team from the end of last year? Um, you know, our defense. Um, you know, we have, you know, one of the we have the leading shot blocker in the country, but we feel like if we can keep people in front force people to take jump shots, we're going to be an unbelievable team because we don't have a problem with scoring this year. You know, we have different options, adding Max Hooper, Orlando Sanchez, me and Jakar, Phil getting better coming off injury. You know, we're going to be, we're going to be all right. Uh, talk about uh, some of the new teams that are in here. Xavier's in here, Creighton's in, uh, Butler as well. Just uh, a different Big East in 2013, 2014. So you're excited about uh, those new challenges? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, you can get a win at Butler, Creighton, or Xavier. You know, that's, that's big time. Um, you know, they're unbelievable programs. I'm glad they joined. You know, I feel like they're the perfect teams and you know, I can't wait. You know, I'm excited to play at Butler. I'm, you know, I've watched them. You know, I'm excited to play. I'm excited to play Xavier. You know, I'm excited to play at Georgetown. You know, so, you know, I'm just excited. You know, so this is going to be a great season. Are you more excited for playing those teams or are you more excited for no longer playing Syracuse and Notre Dame and Pittsburgh <laughs> and some of those other schools? You no, know, I wish we could add the three and keep the old one. You know, that's, you know, that's kind of guy. I am. You know, that would be an unbelievable schedule. You know, you get, you get a win at Syracuse, win at Butler. You know, oh man, you know. You're definitely in the NCAA then, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't not be, you know. Yeah. Um, what have you improved the most in your game in the summer and the fall? Um, the, I'm thinking I'm in the best, you know, I'm definitely in the best shape I've ever been in, um, you know, since I've been in college, um, you know, working on my left hand, you know, people always force me right, but, you know, I have a left hand now, so, you know, people be aware, be aware I have a left hand. <laughs> so, okay, so before, you would say to yourself that you did not have a left hand or you had a limited left hand. What would you say even before uh, the workout? I just never used it. I mean, um, I I never, I never used. It. I think I've maybe shot two left-hand layups since I've been in college. So it's just weird because I, I, I think I have over a thousand points too. So, I, so it's weird. But you know, teams are you know picked up on it sometimes last year. You know, I didn't struggle, but you know, I had to, you had to adjust. You know, I, um, I feel like I'm gonna. I already adjusted, and you know, be a great year. What are the qualities about head coach Steve Lavin that you appreciate and love the most? Oh, his, you know, his energy. You know, he brings energy to 6 a.m. workout, 10 p.m. workout. 3 p.m. workout, 3 a.m. workout, you know, you're going to get the same guy 24-7, you know, that's what I like, that's why I chose St. John's. It sounds as if you would have that same energy that you have now at 6 a.m. every day. For sure, everybody does now, you know, we're, we're, we're excited to get up to practice, you know, there's no days we're like, man, we don't feel like practicing, like, there's none like that, because um, we're hungry, you know, we're, it's, about, it's about time New York had a team, you know, St. John's, you know, we've been down a little bit, so time to pick it up. St. John's picked fifth in the preseason media poll and D'Angelo Harrison looking to change that and make the Johnnies ascend to the top of the Big East yeah, standing. For sure, for sure. D'Angelo, <laughs> thank sure. you so very much for joining hey, us. Thank you, thank you, thank you.